it would seem to be set up that way. Brian Pruitt only got one. Second down and nine. The line to make is down at the three. Football at the 12. Three-step drop. Looking at the end zone. Wide open McMillan. No. No, he was out of bounds. Out of the field of play. McMillan looked like he had a sure six. The official said, nope, he did not get the feet in bounds before breaking the plane of that end line. Well, I bet the, uh, he was wide open, eight yards behind everybody. Temp wishes he had that one back, but that wind comes out of that south end zone, holds that ball up a little bit, lifts it up, and that might have cost him that, that just that, that footstep, that inch that they needed to get inside the line. Let's watch this football and see what it does. You can't see it. He tried to drag the foot. You only need one in college, but apparently he didn't get it. Third down and nine for Eric Timp in the Central Michigan offense from the 12. Timp with time. A lot of time. Gunned it to the end zone. Knocked away. Yeah, and touchdown. then caught for a touchdown by Brian Pruitt. Touchdown Central Michigan. Oh, my goodness. It hit the helmet of Bowley Green defender George Johnson, and Brian Pruitt was there to grab the ricochet for the touchdown for the Chippewas. Second TD of the day <laughs> for Brian Pruitt. Well, he gets them all which kind of way, doesn't he? That all unbelievable bounce. Here. Unbelievable bounce. It seems like it's in the cards for the Chippewas today. Uh, getting all the lucky bounces. Got an interception to set up this drive on the, uh, on the bounce. And then Pruitt picks it up and scores another touchdown on the ricochet. Unbelievable. George Johnson there in coverage off his hat and into the hands of Brian Pruitt. Brad Blazy to add the PAT off turnovers. Central Michigan has put 14 points on the board today, and the maroon and gold from mid-Michigan love it. Brian Pruitt, right place, right time. Bowling Green's in a hole. We'll get back to Doit Perry.